today we are going to do a genetic drift lab, or better yet, a simulation um, that hopefully will help you better understand how genetic drift operates. Uh, to do this, we're going to use some colorful beads to represent uh, alleles in a small population. And then we're also going to use a dice. We're going to roll the dice uh, to simulate reproduction within this small population. What we're going to notice is we're going to witness random changes in the allele frequencies over successive generations. So you see here we're going to watch this take place through five generations. And this is going to help us gain insight into the unpredictable nature of genetic drift and then its consequences on genetic diversity within a population. So let's dive in. Um, I don't have a lot of space up here, so I've got a lot of behind the scenes work going on. So what we're gonna need for this lab um, is some multicolored beads. And again, this represents genetic variability in a small population. These beads are different colors. We also, I'm gonna set that to the side. We also have a six-sided dice, so I'm gonna roll the dice and then that number on the dice is going to mean something for us and then we've got our genetic drift table that's going to allow us to see what this does to a population over time. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we're going to start by selecting six different color beads um, and again these are just going to represent alleles within the population. These are going to be a diff different alleles. So six different colors. We've got a purple, a pink, an orange for allele three. Let's see, I wanna use green for allele four. Let me use a yellow for allele five, and let me see if I've got another color here. Oh, let's see, let's see. Have I used blue? No. All right, so I'm gonna use blue for allele six. All right, so what I want you to do, if you're following along with your lab sheet, um, I want you to hop over to your table. This is what it looks like. And I want you to record the color of these alleles. So for allele number one, you're gonna write purple. Allele number two, you're gonna write pink. Allele number three is gonna be orange. Allele number four, green. Five is gonna be yellow. And six is gonna be blue. And you can pause the video if you need to do that. All right, next, we're going to roll the dice to determine which allele is going to be passed to the next generation, which is generation one. Um, now, for this particular simulation, we're going to model asexual reproduction. So, for example, if we roll, a, roll the dice and we get a two, we're going to place a bead in generation one that's the same color as the bead in our allele two category. So let me show you what I mean by that. All right, so I'm gonna roll the dice. We get a five. So I'm gonna reproduce the yellow bead. So this is offspring number one. We're in the first generation. Whoop. All right, let's roll again. We're gonna get a four. So we've got a green. All right, we've got a one. So I'm gonna reproduce the purple bead. We've got a, another four, so that's another green bead. And then a two, that's a pink bead. And then one more time, a three, that's an orange bead. All right, so now what you're gonna do on your data table, where it says generation one, you're gonna uh, tally these up. So. Um, our purple, you listed purple here as the allele color. In generation one, we have one purple. So you'll just write a one here. And then we have the pink allele color for allele two. And we only have one pink allele in our first generation. So you'll just write a one here. Next, we're gonna tally up allele three, which was our orange bead. We have one in our first generation. Allele four was the green bead, so we have two of those. For allele five, that was our yellow bead. We get one of those in generation one, so you'll just put a one here. And then for allele six, that was our blue bead. We have none of those in our first generation, so we can see we've already 
through random chance, rolling of the dice, that's, that um, indicates a random event that has happened, we have limited our population to include all of the colors except blue. So we've wiped out the blue allele. All right, we're gonna do that again, but this time we're gonna use generation one as our parent alleles and um, we're going to determine what alleles we have in the next generation from generation one. So we've got a three here, so allele three is the purple bead. We're going to reproduce that. And then we have a four. Allele four is our green bead. We'll reproduce this. And then we have a six. That's going to be our orange bead. And then a two. That's another green bead. Whoop. All right, then we have a three, that's a purple bead. And then for our final offspring, we're gonna get a four, which is another green bead. All right, so we're gonna go back to our data table and we're gonna record this for generation two. Uh, so under your purple category, we now have two purple alleles. We have three green beads, so green was in this category, so for generation two, you'll record a three here. So pause the video and fill in your table. All right now in this generation, we wiped out another allele. So again, rolling the dice represents a random event that's happened. It could be a forest fire, it could be a flood, it could be um, an earthquake, something that's happened that has limited our allele population and wiped out a certain allele within the small population. In this case, the pink allele. So let's keep going. We've got a three, so I'm gonna use generation two as my model to figure out the alleles for generation three. So allele three is an orange bead. Allele two is a green bead. Allele four is a green bead. Another four. So we're starting to see how certain alleles become more prominent in a population, more frequent over time. All right, allele five is gonna be a purple bead. And then we have another five, so that's another purple bead, okay? All right, I'm just gonna keep going. Here we have a six, so that's a purple bead. And of course, you're gonna wanna pause the video and fill out your table after each generation, but I'm just gonna go through this so you can get the data. All right, we got another purple bead. Five is another purple bead. Six is a purple bead. Another six purple. All right, let's go for our final generation, generation five. I just rolled a three, so that's a purple bead. And then I just rolled a one, that's gonna be a purple bead. Right, a two, that's an orange bead. Uh, a four, that's gonna be a purple bead. Just rolled a one, that is a purple bead. And then my final is a three. And let's see, that's gonna be a purple bead. All right, so this is the perfect snapshot of genetic drift. So these random events have uh, wiped out some of the alleles that we started with. And we can see over time how the population has changed. Um, we don't have a lot of genetic diversity now in our fifth generation, um, and you can see that. So. Pause the video, use this information to complete the rest of your chart and your analysis questions.